Peace, family. It's your boy, King of Tuna, and I'm back again with another episode. If you like this content and you want to see more, please subscribe, hit the like button, and please leave a comment. Peace, family. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, I am checking out some rental properties for anyone who's planning on staying long-term or short-term. Short like, if you're planning on staying for the length of your visa or something of that nature. So, for example, my visa is 90 days, so... I plan on staying for a while, so I need a, a nice place to stay. And sometimes guest houses can be uh, costly. So um, I'm gonna be showing you guys a few different places around Kampala. This area is um, off of Gaba Road going towards Mignogno. So it's kind of uh, more expensive on this side, but this is a budget video. So I'm gonna show you guys what you can get for your money um, if you're budgeting basically. And basically, I want you guys to show well, to see that you know you can get something luxury and still save a little bit of money so that's the purpose of this video and this episode so if you guys enjoy and stay tuned okay family so let's talk a little bit about budget for those of you who are traveling on a budget you know you came over here with a certain amount of money you want to make your stretch as long as you can this is a video for you all right um so in Kampala, you're able to find places lower than like less than a hundred dollars, but it'd be pretty ghetto. So I don't know if you guys want to go that route, but um, if you don't and you want a little bit of luxury or you just want a nice apartment, I guess, to stay in, um, there are plenty of apartments like that. You can get them all the way from a hundred dollars, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, all the way up to a thousand. It really depends on your budget and what you don't mind missing out on i guess like some places with a water heater might cost more versus places without a water heater so if you are one of the type of people who don't want to take cold showers or have to boil your water before you take a shower then you might want to find a place that has a water heater and mind you you're more than likely going to pay a little bit more for that um other than that the way price breakdowns here in Kampala are, they do it by the rooms, the amount of rooms. So a living room or a sitting room is considered a room. Uh, so I was saying you could um, basically get a place depending on the amount of rooms that you have and it could be pretty cheap or more expensive. So if you got like a two bedroom, one living room, something like that. And also bathrooms matter as well. Two bedroom, two bathroom, one living room. That could be pretty expensive. It could be anywhere between five hundred and thousand dollars, or if it's one bathroom on the property, um, one bedroom and one sitting room or living room. And they usually have a kitchenette, so it's not like a full kitchen or anything like that, or even a half kitchen. It's more like a kitchenette, little area where you got a sink and a plug-in in the wall, so you can hook your stove up and all of that stuff. That could run you, you know, a hundred dollars, hundred fifty dollars, all the way up to three hundred or four hundred dollars. So like I said, it really depends on what you want to spend your money on, basically. So that's what I'm going to focus on in these videos. I'm going to try to show you places for around 100 bucks, all the way up to maybe like $500. Because I could get you guys some places for like 1000 But I know a lot of people who watch my videos are trying to, you know, stretch their money as best as possible. So I'm going to show you guys what you can get for around 500 bucks or less. All right. So we'll start with that. So another thing I wanted to tell you guys real quick is that not every property here comes with a security guard. Some places, um, when you're spending like maybe more than $100 to stay there, will have a security guard there, but he might not be armed security. And also, internet is not included in most places. Um, well, what you guys would get back in America would not really be included here at all. So for example, Moving into an apartment, you gotta furnish it, you gotta put everything in there. One of the things I took for granted back in America is that when I moved into a place, I already got screens on the windows and stuff like that. I already have um, a microwave, a stove, and a um, refrigerator. In Uganda, that's not always the case at all. If you get something fully furnished, that's gonna be way more expensive and It'll have all those things, but more than likely for people who are traveling on a budget, you're going to be looking at places where 
it's basically bare bones in there. It's nothing in there. You got to provide everything. So you got to get your curtains. There's no curtains on the windows, stuff like that. Um, anything for the bathroom, you need to go get that. Uh, nothing comes in the kitchen other than the sink. <laughs> You know what I mean? So that's what I mean by bare bones. Like you really gotta set up your appliances and all that stuff because it does not come included. So that is one thing that we Westerners, I wouldn't say take for granted, but we have uh, the privilege of having, you know, already hooked up inside of our homes. And um, and the security guard as well. I've never stayed in a place in America where we got security. If anything, we got too much security, you know, cause over policing and all of that. But we're not going to get into that with this video. Um, in another video, I'm going to try to show you guys guest houses. So you guys can see what a guest house is like. That's like a, an extended stay, uh, so to speak, for you Westerners out there. So a guest house is like a, an extended stay um, or hostel, I guess. I'm not too familiar with hostels because I didn't stay in a lot of them traveling. I stayed with uh, people. I did like couch surfing and backpacking. So... I really stayed in a tent. If I didn't stay in a tent, then I stayed on somebody's couch for a while. But like I said, I'll cover that in another video in the next one, more than likely. All right. Okay, family. So we're heading over to our first apartment. Many apartments in Uganda have these very tall closets. So to give you guys an idea of how tall they are, I am 62 inches. And you guys can see me comparing myself to the closet. Very high up. And you can store pretty much anything in these closets as well. This closet can be used to hang up your garments, your suits, and dresses, and things of that nature. And it usually has some stores down below and up above. That is if you can reach it. And that pretty much concludes this apartment. Okay, family. So this next place that we're going to go check out is uh, going for 1.7 million Uganda shillings. Feel free at the end of this video to leave a comment to let me know what you guys think of these apartments and if you require any more additional information. So this apartment is a two bedroom, two bathroom. And like I said, it goes for 1.7 Uganda shilling. This apartment is a two story apartment with one bedroom and one bathroom downstairs and the other bedroom and bathroom is upstairs. The main bedroom is upstairs with the bathroom located inside the bedroom and the downstairs 
bedroom has the bathroom on the outside of the bedroom. So here's the bathroom and immediately to your left is the first bedroom. In this particular apartment, this upstairs bathroom does come with a water heater as shown above. However, the downstairs bathroom does not come with a water heater. Alright family, so we're heading over to the last apartment on our list. I've actually been here before, so I'm somewhat familiar with it. Welcome back family. So I'm at uh, another place now. I've actually been in this place before. When I was uh, looking at different apartments that I wanted to stay in. And this apartment is actually pretty nice and it's actually not that expensive. So it's going for one million shillings. And the landlord is actually negotiating on the price. So. Uh, I'm assuming you can talk them down, you know, to a price that you brought, you guys could agree on. But um, this place is in Kalungu, Bunga, Bunga, Kalungu. And it is not too far from Lake Victoria, from a Yonio Speak Resort, and all of that good stuff. It's actually not even 15 minutes away from the lake. So I'm going to give you guys a little tour of the place so you can see it. But it is a one bedroom. Two bath, two bathroom apartment. <laughs> I apologize. I, I ain't been here in a while, so I'm about to check it out though. 